In this recovery video, we're going to show you how to use your SP9000 side puller to recover a car that's over a very steep embankment and down a big incline. So I want to point out that we're trying to keep everything as real as possible so you'll notice cars traveling behind it. We do have traffic control at each end of the accident scene while we do this recovery. We're going to do our best to really show you the capabilities of the side puller. Here you can see the stabilizer foot comes down and it's self-leveling so it always aligns itself with the pavement or the dirt at an incline. As you can see the operator is coming down a very steep incline here. It really showcases how steep this hill is. You know we think it's very close to a 45 degree angle and we really want to make a statement here that what these side pullers are really capable of doing. If you really want to learn how to use them to their fullest results are absolutely incredible as you can see here this whole recovery is being done by one operator you can see him up there standing by the rear wheels using the wireless remote control here you can see the outer recovery boom is inside its recovery zone it's doing a great job of recovering this car in all my years of doing these side pullers i get a lot of people calling me and saying okay well what do you do that with the car now that you've winched it up to the side of the road and in this video we're going to show you how we handle that situation as we pan around here with the drone you can see that we were able to keep one lane of traffic open and if you were doing this with a wrecker you would have to turn completely sideways and recover off of the back and potentially you know plugging both lanes of traffic and that's why in this particular instance i think the side puller is the absolute right choice and i get very frustrated when people say well you can't recover with a car carrier and i'm just i'm just blown away by that statement especially when you watch the capabilities of this truck and one person out doing a job that in my mind in a wrecker would potentially be a two-person job you know with a wrecker once you've winched it up you'd have to figure out a way to let go and pull forward and reposition and we were able to do this entire recovery without moving the car carrier once here's a great overhead shot of showing how you're in full control by using the carrier winch and the side puller winch in conjunction with one another to absolutely control this entire recovery and as you can see, we've brought the car up and the job's well executed. If you've enjoyed this video, I want to invite you to go to intheditch.com and check out our other recovery videos. Thanks again for your time and see you in the ditch.